the gun and we're live. stuff. Ah, oh, yeah. So I, what did, what happened? You banned some kind of grip on a pistol? So arm he braces. Put, he put he didn't out even ban AR-15s? Just do it all he can't. or just shut up. He oh, can't. he can't? He banned... Oh, no, no he, he put out six anti-gun executive orders. One of them bans arm braces. If people don't know... Look, this terminology is going to be like 80% right. You can put a certain stock on an AR-15, which effectively makes it a pistol because you can operate it with one hand, and it kind of wraps around your forearm. It operates like a rifle because you don't put it, you don't usually use the stock wrapped around your forearm. You just use it against your shoulder like you would a rifle. I'll show you a picture in a second. Though. Anyway, I guess the guy used that. The reason people like this stock is that you can't have a short barreled rifle and they want to have a short barrel on their AR-15. So they put this stock on it, which makes it a pistol technically, but not in reality. And uh, now that's banned. So I guess you have to get the license fee for the short barrel rifle. Kyle, did I get anything wrong? Um, yeah, you got it all right. I I'll show you, I've got a really good image um, okay. for you that, that really <clears throat> shows it all. So yeah, Sig makes a great one, by the way. Oh, I see. So you know what's, it looks yeah, really so cool. So this is te still technically a pistol, and like, um, and what some people will do is when they don't have their local ATF agent looking over their shoulder, they'll just put that thing against their shoulder and use this as a short-barreled rifle without having to pay the two hundred dollar tax stamp, is what he said. Yeah. So it, <clears throat> you can totally imagine that thing. It's <laughs> this stock is an invention to get around the ban on short-barreled rifles. Now, yeah. the bigger question I have is, why is there a short-barrel rifle ban? Nobody is sticking this gun in the small of their back and concealing it. That's silly, right? Um, it, I don't know why I mean, there's a short-barrel rifle ban. I don't understand the logic behind it, but this is the way to get around it. Has it there ever... I mean, I was going to ask, Is there is there has there been a <clears throat> uh, mass shooting where somebody has used a heavily modified... Uh, AR-15 like this, or have they all been relatively standard? The only one I can so, think of is the guy using the bump stock from Vegas, right? And the, that there was, was the bump stock in Vegas. This is what the guy was using in Colorado recently. Got it. Okay, so so the, the, those two, the more recent ones, are the ones where we see it get a little bit more into, I didn't just get an AR-15 off the street and like we're ready to go. It was like, we put some effort into this, or at least like we bought some accessories for the gun in the first place. Sure, I guess. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I was just yeah, asking for It doesn't make a gun more deadly. And no. a short barrel doesn't make a gun more deadly. You could argue it makes it less deadly. It does. I yeah. think that they're... Um, I think the only reason people think they're cool is that you can't really have it, you know? So you, you have to go out of your way to get it. And that makes it cool. It makes it... I mean, it, oh, it, 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 it makes it a lot more fun to shoot, honestly. like, like Short it's, does? Why? Yeah, yeah. It's a lot more uh, maneuverable. It's a lot more... Um, I wouldn't say concealable, but, you know, it's... It, I've shot... I shoot out the window... Or I would shoot out the windows of cars a lot, you know? So it's it, it's real easy to, like, shoulder and shoot right out your window right, uh, over, like, a full-length AR-15 barrel. Maybe in your um, house, if you wanted to clear every room and closet. It's sure, really nice yeah. To have a Close quarters room. stuff where you don't want the barrel bumping into everything. And, you know, someone even grabbing the barrel if you're in some sort of, like, military-type situation. But, yeah, I mean, it does slow down bullet velocity a little bit. But it's still going plenty fast enough. I always like, put myself in a school or a shopping mall and say, this gun's not more deadly. But there are other situations. Yeah, I guess so. You know, like, like I, the, the main thing, I would say, um, it's more concealable. Obviously, you're not going to put it in the small of your back, but this would fit in like a violin case or like a, a backpack um, pretty pretty readily. That would definitely fit in a backpack. Yeah. 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 It's kind of wild how I was going to say it's kind of wild how <clears throat> after playing Tarkov, now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I know all of these pieces. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, hey, I know. Hey, that's not the best ergo on that, uh, on that <laughs> foreground. You might want to change that up. Yeah, yeah. Like, what a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew, ten rounder in that? Ew. Oh, yeah. good point. It's probably, in, it's probably in California or something. Yeah. Right. It's a 20, think... but, you know, it's, oh. um, yeah, th those those things are cool. Um, I've never really fucked with them. Um, when I had guns, I, I could just make my own SBRs at will. So, like, it wasn't really a, a thing. But, um, but they are neat. Well, they were neat. I guess now they're banned. I wonder if it's one of those things where they're grandfathered, and if you've got one now, it's still legal, or if it's like the bump stocks where it's like, turn them in by X date or you're a felon. 
I don't, uh, know. I don't know. know. Do you know what any of the other ones do? That was the easiest one for me to understand. The other what? There, there are six more. executive orders, and I I didn't see them. I just saw the one about the arm brace. <clears throat> Yeah, I have no, I have no idea what the other one. He's is. probably also going after um, what he calls ghost, ghost guns. guns. Oh yeah, okay. the unfinished or whatever, just receivers and stuff. Yeah, so been, really, the ability to like to make your to own be guns at home. As possible. Ghost guns. It's a ghost gun. Yeah. Spooky. So I did a video. <laughs> I did a spooky. I did a video once where I made a shotgun, if you could call it that. It was basically a pipe. You can buy a mm -hmm. pipe at a Home Depot that is this perfect diameter for a shotgun shell. And then you just sort of slide it towards the back of it and it shoots out the front. I shot mm -hmm. some plywood or something. I bet he'd call that a ghost gun. But I think that 3D printers and stuff like that are enabling people to get a little more sophisticated than I ever did. Right. Um, but you I also... 3D pr but are ghost guns bad? Are people getting... Doing things like... See, like it's always this, it's always this big misconception because like not everywhere are you required to have registered guns and mm -hmm. and not everywhere are most places citizen to citizen sales have no like paperwork behind them and i don't think they should like if i'm if i want to buy uh, maybe not me but if taylor wants to buy woody's gun that's between him and taylor you know why are we dragging the federal government into a private transaction of taylor and and woody you know yeah in north carolina what you said is right for rifles for pistols mm -hmm. i'm supposed to check either his permit or his concealed carry yeah, sure right yeah uh, or or you know if you just know him well enough to know that he's not a criminal or a felon no here there's literally a permit for handgun sales i remember oh. we looked into it once you thought that i maybe i was wrong and you're like oh it turns out this is a jim crow thing that they just never got rid oh of. okay that? yeah now that makes sense yep yep north okay. carolina yeah, so it, it, that still exists for us. Although I don't think they selectively enforce it against black people anymore, but that's how mm -hmm. it got invented. Has there ever Makes been sense. shooting by a 3D printed gun? Like, well, uh, I think we're too early for that. I don't right? think so. But all, well, I mean, I, I probably if there was, it would be one of the biggest stories ever. So like, I, in fact, yeah, such I, a, I just don't know why. I think so, like. If you want a gun, there are easier ways to get a gun than 3D exactly. printing. I'm not going to go into the nuts and bolts of that. It's no, there there are easier ways, but I do like. I mean, it is really cool thought exercise to scale it up and think. You know, at a certain point, there may be a very accessible 3D printing solution or option where if we go, you know, fully into it, all the file types or files that you need to download and build virtually anything, like a universal. Philip said screwdriver to here's all the parts to build your own handgun, albeit who knows how well it would stand, you know, up to actually being fired because it's fucking yeah, like I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, plastic. or you could just go buy a milling machine. Right. right? No, like, but nobody's gonna fucking buy a milling machine. I'm saying why not? Like, they're if, just they're cheap. Because it's too much. All right, if I, uh, they're they're gonna make 3D printers where it's like 300, it's like your normal printer, 300 bucks, drag the file in here and then just hit start, hmm. and it'll just right. It, is it not parallel there yet. for milling machines? Yeah, you can you can go buy a milling machine and you can just make your own AR-15 lower and that's the registered part. You could buy a two-thirds uh, or an 80% lower, I should say, and then just finish it off with your milling machine and then all the other parts are just parts. They're not restricted in any way, you know, barrels and grips and stocks and mm -hmm. uppers. Yeah, but I was just talking more about how the ease of accessibility between somebody who has no know-how of what to do a milling machine and operate it versus literally dragging and dropping in a computer file mm -hmm. and then it like just does it for you. Like it, I don't think we've ever I don't think we've had a 3D printed gun ever be used in something, but I'm saying in the future probably a much bigger problem than than we have right now I or think what it I'm could be. Seeing is Tucker talk about how easy it is to do things in his comfort zone versus like the milling right. machine. Or if you were yeah. a redneck farmer, you might be like them goddamn 3D printing machines. I don't know if shit about <laughs> fuck for that. But a milling machine's the easy way to make a lower. Like you might have the the inverse. I can what take about a... the yuppies? What about the coastal elites who want to have guns too? <laughs> they have their own little miniature armies they've conscripted. So they don't yeah. have... <laughs> Just wait, I got like, 3D you, you print mine. Mark Zuckerberg has his own stormtroopers lining his compound. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even touch an icky gun. <laughs> you could make a lure with my milling machine in 
less than an hour on your first try. Like I could like on my first try and I've never done it before. Like it's, it's super duper easy. And if you've got a good milling machine, the kind that's got like the digital readouts and has like the automation, then it's essentially a 3d printer. Like you, you can have a computer attached to your milling machine and put in that file and it'll just do, 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 do. It'll do the whole thing. It's a 3d eraser, right? It's you a 3d eraser. You block and you erase the parts you don't want. Exactly. Yeah. And they're not crazy expensive. I thought I was so clever. I'm sure it's been well, come I mean, up with before. Yeah. <laughs> a milling machine isn't a lathe is the really scary one that can rip your like your skin and your bones and all. A milling of machine's like a drill press that can move around and hit it from different angles. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna tear you up or anything. You'd have to. You have to really real bad decisions <laughs> <laughs> to put your hand in the milling machine. You get sucked in, I guess, but yeah. but you know, it, 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 that, that's true with any piece of big equipment, right? Yeah.